Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. Bom saber. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. É, só aliviando a tensão, relaxa, mulher. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your Ih, species, mulher, muita experiência aí também aí. grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 anos. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Oxa. Olha aí a discriminação por idade, gente. Não é bem assim que funciona, não. Tem gente que é gênio. Tá. Hum, e o que tu aprendeu? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Só tem 106, né? Muito pouco, imagina! Se um ser humano chega a 106, tá só o pó da rabiola. Como tu sabe disso, mulher? Conta pra nós. Where did you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times. Outra civilização. E quem vem antes deles? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Ah, eu acho que eu sei o que, o que aconteceu, senhora. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The, the Reapers. Os Reapers. But I have never heard of. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? Ah, então, uma visão, senhora. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren or the conduit. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit. Cara chato. Então, você ainda pode nos ajudar, Sarah. 
I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Prometo que eu vou te ajudar, mulher. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Maybe that was Sarah. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Okay. Todo por hoje. É isso aí, pessoal. The rest of you dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Uh, connect you. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. I don't know what I'm doing, you fools. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Tá, a doutora só só quer ajudar, gente. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her. Ah, claro que não. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin, was that really necessary, Shepard? Foi. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Coisa extra para falar? Ou só vai repetir diálogo? E aí? Bom. Commander, do you have a minute? Fala. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. Yeah. The Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the council. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Tá, é, fala aí, fala. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. It's funny we finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled, and the residents don't even seem impressed by the view or the dangers. É, é uma visão bonita de enxergar. Eu fui dentro nem se parece pressionado com a vista. Well, well, you were romantic. Meu Deus! Did you sign on for the dream, Olenka? Security. Eu estou dando em cima dele. I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or you know, for justice. Maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Sorry, biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good, see what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tá, é, é para o que você treinou, senhor? Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. For the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Malditas corporações. I heard all about that. How companies would arrange accidents to expose people to element zero. There was never any proof of that. It's not what happened in my case, anyway. My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics. A little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around '63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. Bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Ah, isso foi só uma deliberada? You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. We 
was different and there were new protections, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick mm. on the scene. Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades, right on the termination shot. Outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research e por fim, sobre amigos. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Hora da ação então, senhor. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. Certeza. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly. Tá bom, então. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Veronica. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ah, lá, lá, lá. Tá, tá, tá mandando. A gente já, já, já vai no papo. Você é uma vaiera, senhor Kaita. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But Mas? things never felt together. Training, you know. Tá ok, então. Foi, foi triste, foi triste. Just zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the bits. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a full session about stuff that happened years ago. Eu quero conhecer minha equipe, senhor. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. I understand, ma'am. I won't let you leave. You uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone. Vou fazer várias coisas para o pessoal até certo ponto só. Of course, but I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. Cortar por causa da linha desse moço. I'll need some time to process that. 